Hey y'all, what's up? Got some quick news to report in the hip hop world. You know, local artists, you know, New, jo- New Jersey's finest, you know, that trap nigga, you know, that trap queen, you know, that dude known as Fetty Watt has been indicted on drug trafficking charges. They say he was moving 100 kilos of cocaine, heroin, and other substance throughout the Long Island area, if I'm mistaken, but he's been indicted on numerous drug charges. And I don't know, man, because he got a classic album, in my opinion, with that Fetty Wap self-titled album that came out in 2015. You know, his career didn't pan out like a lot of people would have thought, you know, for coming in at a time when a lot of these new generation artists had a lot of momentum behind them, but most of the time these niggas just fade out once they don't come out with like more tracks and shit though. But he got a couple of hits on his, you know, repertoire, man. You know, six, seven, nine, Trap Queen, one of his biggest hits. Um, come out my way. You know, he got a couple of hits on those um that that album, self titled from twenty fourteen, Fetty Wap, which I got uploaded on my channel and stuff, but you know, this is Terrible news for him because he just lost his daughter like a while ago, you know. And I know the brother been going through a lot of shit though, but I don't know if he was desperate for money since his music career has dwindled down. You know, I ain't gonna talk shit about the brother again because, you know, I like the music though, man, because, you know, I'm, I'd rather listen to his first album than listen to a lot of these niggas' albums and stuff, but, you know, he's been indicted on drug charges, you know, 100 kilos of different substance, cocaine, heroin, and other narcotics. I just wanna know how the fuck they got him on all those charges and how long they have been you know, having surveillance on him and stuff. So, you know, you know a lot of these rappers be doing all types of extra shit when it comes to them not making a lot of money though because you got to think that most of these mainstream media rappers in the underground or in the mainstream media don't be making that money like that you might see these dudes in these music videos making this money talking about how much money they got how many cars they got how many bitches they fucking but most of the time most of these dudes be living check to check you know they just have a little more than you but it sucks to be him, man, because we don't know how this shit going to end for this brother. And we just, I'm going to just say, I hope he don't get a lot of time. But if he's guilty of doing all that, they finna slam his ass. It depends on how, you know, um, his record is. But, you know, w- once you get caught with all those drugs, and it depends on how much you 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 was doing out there and what state you were in. Because different states, drug charges are way different, though, but... We done seen crazier things, you know, so when it comes to these rappers, all I got to say is I hope he pulls through all this shit and he better hope he get less time out of the whole situation, you know, with him going through, you know, his daughter being dead and stuff. So that's all I got to say. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Tell me what y'all think about the situation with the with the homie Fetty Wap getting caught with 100 kilos of numerous amounts of drugs and tell me what y'all think the outcome is going to be for the brother Fetty Wap, man. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.